Hello everyone! Well, on Thursday, November 26, the most anticipated event of this year in the world of rhythmic gymnastics, the European Championship starts. We have been following its fate since March, and I am very glad that it will take place after all. I think it's worth to thank the Federation of Gymnastics of Ukraine for these efforts. Well, in this video I will tell you what awaits us for 4 days, which of the gymnasts will perform and who will not, about schedules, broadcasts, and how everything will go. There is a lot of information and it's interesting. Interesting. So be sure to support my videos with likes and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss anything new. Kiev will host the 36th European Rhythmic Gymnastics Championship. Gymnasts from 23 countries will come, including top gymnasts and world leaders. Of course, not all of them, but it's still not a reason to get to know other gymnasts better. In general, this championship will be interesting, at least due to the fact that the Russian national team does not take part in it, which means for the first time in several years, Russian team will will never rise to the podium of the European Championship, so this is already an intriguing and amazing sight. Indeed, we really cannot even imagine who will be the leader and who will take all the gold, especially considering that after the pandemic many gymnasts did not perform at international tournaments, and we have not seen someone at all for a long time. If in previous years we could na navigate and guess best on the World Cups and Grand Prix, then this year it will be a 100% surprise, but I think this will make it more interesting to to watch, and who knows, maybe new stars will open. We will go to the Olympics in a year. The downside of such a championship, of course, is that the start will take place without spectators, so it will be harder for girls to perform and we will only have the opportunity to watch online. But we are promised broadcasts in different sources, so I think there will be no problems with that. Competitions will be held in the Kiev Palace of Sports and Gymnast Juniors from 2005 to 2007 and seniors and group members from 2004 and older will perform. Juniors will compete for medals in the team and in individual events. Those, a maximum of four gymnasts, will be able to perform from, from a country, who must show eight exercises. According to the results of their performances, in the first two days the gymnasts will qualify for four finals in separate times and compete for medals there, and the team medal will include the six best results out of eight. Also the team will earn points and group who in the first two days earning an all-around medal will put points in the team championship piggy bank. So juniors in the individual program and senior women in the group will compete for the team medals. Group seniors will compete for an all-around medal, a team medal and individual medal. And gymnast seniors in the individual program will compete for the main one, or as it's also called, the Olympic medal in the all-around. The competition will begin on Thursday 26th of November. The timetable is for Kiev. The difference with Moscow is one hour. I will warn you right away that the time can shift and still change, so I will call the approximate time in Moscow. So on Thursday from the 12th in the noon, gymnasts will start performing in the individual program for juniors. On the first days, gymnasts will perform with a rope and a ball. At 5.30 the group players will perform with 5 balls. And at 6.30 the championship opening ceremony will take place. On Friday, November 27, from the 1 o'clock, the juniors will start performing in the individual program. They will perform with the remaining two types of clubs and a ribbon. At 6.30, the seniors will perform with hoops and clubs in the group program. At quarter past seven, the award ceremony will take place in the team championship and group all around. On Saturday, November 28th, at two o'clock, juniors will begin to compete for medals in individual events in rope, ball, clubs and ribbon. After finals, the gymnasts will be awarded immediately. At 5 o'clock, the group teams will begin to compete for their individual medals. There will also be an award ceremony after the end. And on Sunday, November 29th, the all-round for senior gymnasts will take place in the individual program from quarter to one. The award ceremony will take place at 6.20 and the closing ceremony at 6.30. Only six group teams will perform at the tournament, including teams of Ukraine, Israel, Azerbaijan, France and Turkey as well as Estonia. Most refuse to participate because of the coronavirus. Someone flew off at the last moment, and someone simply could not leave the country. For example, the team from Bulgaria and Belarus could not come due to their illness. In general, the gymnasts will perform quite a few among juniors and seniors, and there will be many already known gymnasts. So from Azerbaijan, gymnast Arzuya Lilova of 2004, a recent junior who won medals of certain types at the European and World Championship, will perform for seniors. And also, Zahra Grahimova is already an adult and titled gymnast of Azerbaijan. 
Azerbaijan. She took part in the 2018 World Cup and European Games, and at the 2019 Universiad, she won silver medals in the all around and in the final with clubs. Gymnasts we already know will perform from Belarus, about whom I have repeatedly told in recent videos. Since the girls participated in all possible tournaments, for juniors, the familiar names are Polina Slanchevska, Elizaveta Zorkina, and Dina Gishova. And from seniors, Alina Garnasko and Anastasia Salas. Bulgaria also brought the strongest squad. For juniors, we will see Yeva Brizaliva, who this year won the Grand Prix medals in Moscow among juniors. Selyana Nikolova, who is the absolute champion of Bulgaria among juniors for the last two years. And in seniors, Katrin Tasiva, who is the champion of Bulgaria, the medalist of the World European European Games in various Grand Prix and World Cups. By the way, there was Katrin who won the control trainings in her country before Europe, but Bariana Kalin did not play, take part in them. She was recovering from the flu, but she is no less titled. But a younger absolute champion of Bulgaria for the last two years, a medalist of World Championships, European Championships, Grand Prix and World Cups. So it will also be interesting to watch the struggle between these two gymnasts. Estonia in the individual senior program will be represented by Victoria Bogdanova, the absolute champion of Estonia in 2019, winner of the Universiad and various international tournaments. Israel and juniors will be representing by two gymnasts, Alena Hillel and Daria Tamanov, and two powerful leaders of world gymnastics in seniors, Nicole Zelikman, who is a medalist of the World Championship, Europe, World Cup and international tournaments. Elinoia Schramm, who is the medalist of the World and European Championships, the winner of the European Games and individual events, the owner of many other medals of international tournaments, the main favorite of the competition. If there was no quarantine break, it's difficult to say in what form is Linoy now. We have not seen her at competitions for a very long time, so I especially want to see her. Ekaterina Vidinieva will perform for the, from Slovenia, a gymnast who changed her Russian citizenship in 2018 and now successfully performs in tournaments for Slovenia. Katya was a multiple winner of the Russian Cups, and for Slovenia she won Grand Prix medals, World Cups and international tournaments. And the hostess of the competition in the individual program for juniors will be representing by Polina Karika, the silver medalist of the national championship. Polina Gradnichne, who is the winner of the Ukrainian Cup in 2019 and the winner and medalist of the Ukrainian championships. Karina Sidorak, who is the winner of the Ukrainian championship and the national championship of 2020 in the team, and Melania Tour, who is the winner and medalist of the national championships and international tournaments. And for seniors, Ukraine will be represented by Victoria Naplienka, a gymnast who refilled herself after quarantine, and now shines brighter on the gymnastics arena than her teammates. Prize winner of the European Championship, winner of the Grand Prix, winner of World Cups, and the most famous name is Yeva Milishu, associated with the replacement of the main leader of the Ukrainian national team by Vlad the Nikolchenko. Yeva is a national champion, winner of the new Universiad, multiple medalist of international tournaments and Grand Prix. As you can see, there are more than enough candidates for gold medals, and the fight will definitely be interesting. Even without the national team of Russia and Italy, there are enough contenders for medals. In the poll, only in who in what form approached this tournament, and who spent time in quarantine how. And we will find it out very soon. Well, now let's figure out the topic that definitely worries everyone. What what happened to Vlada Nikolchenka and why she was replaced at the last moment, because Vlada was on the list until Monday. On Monday, November 23rd, a press conference was held where Ukraine presented its squad for the European Championship. It was there that we learned that Yeva Milishuk would perform instead of Vlada. Irina Dirugina was naturally asked what happened to Vlada, the main star of Ukraine, and why she was not there, to which Irina Dirugina answered rather strangely. She is stressed, true. Then the head coach of the national team added and explained the phrase. Even before the press conference, a video was released with the presentation of Vlad as a participant in the European Championship, and there Irina Ivanovna also spoke rather strangely about Vlad. It's rather strange, and now the question arises if quarantine has affected her so badly, whether she can recover for the Olympics next year, or this is the beginning of the end of her career. And if you also remember that in addition to Yeva Milishuk and Victoria Naprienka, Kristina Pogranichna is being restored in beef, who also made a huge competition. 
Then in principle, a big question arises with Lada. She's undoubtedly a unique gymnast, but no one knows what will happen to her next and how she will survive all of this. Write in the comments what do you think about this whole situation with Lada. And is it straight that she was removed from the main starts of the year? Also, along with Lada, the entire Italian team was removed from the tournament, both individual gymnasts and group gymnasts. Also Greek gymnast Elena Kalidi, but with the Polish gymnastics federation, the conflict arose unexpectedly for gymnasts. So the Polish national team was suspended from the European Championship for failure to fulfill financial obligations. In 2019, the Polish federation took out a loan to host the European Artistic Gymnastics Championship and did not return almost anything. In this regard, the federation will be prohibited from performing until the debt is repaid. It so happens that the rhythmic gymnasts have suffered from artistic gymnasts. Pretty sad news for me. Well, and the most important thing is the broadcast of the European Championship. Since the tournament will be held without spectators, your promise broadcasts every day. Why I say the promise? Since we all know that things might not go according to the plan, but on this day it is planned to broadcast on the Match Arena TV channel, but only the finals for group players and all around for seniors in the individual program. TV channel Belarus 5 promises broadcasts every day, but not all. There will also be an official broadcast of the European Championship. I will leave all the links below in the description of the video. And in each new video from the past day, I will publish links to the new day. Well, I think you don't even need to ask about your desire for daily videos. The answer will be an equal click positive. The answer will be positive, so I will try not to leave you without daily videos. And for this support, support me with your thumbs up, comments and channel subscriptions. Also tag me on Instagram, and I'm sure we'll have a great week. Well, that's all for today, remember that I love you all, and see you very soon in the next video. The video was translated and dubbed by Alexandra Sinica.